You have to have heard about the whole crispy rendang fiasco by now. It's pretty amazing considering the fact that a single individual managed to receive four countries to agree on a single thing with a single comment. Some politicians cannot even do this. But the infamous Master Chef UK judge Greg Wallace did it after he criticized Malaysian barn contestant Zalia Kadir Alpin's Nasi Lemak Ayam Rendang dish on the show. What is even more bizarre is that his co judge John Tarod had a whole travel series dedicated to Malaysian food a few years ago titled John Tarod's Malaysian Adventures, and he even learned how to cook duck rendang in one of the episodes. So how could he have sat through the entire judging process without saying a word about it? After successfully pissing off a few hundred million people within 30 seconds, including our Prime Minister, Wallace has come forward to attempt to put out the fire. He appeared on British talk show Good Morning Britain on Wednesday, 4th of April, and explained that his remark was completely misunderstood. I didn't mean it should be fried, like fried chicken. What I meant was it wasn't cooked. It simply wasn't cooked. It was white and flabby, he said. So, as an expert in food, you confused the words crispy and not cooked? Okay. Wallace added that Zalia didn't get eliminated because her chicken skin wasn't crispy, but because other cooks did better. Tarot who was also present on the show defended their decision. I did a whole series on Malaysia. Malaysian food is fantastic. But I said to her, it wasn't cooked enough, he said. Well, calling our food fantastic is not going to save the situation, but okay, whatever floats your boat. Maybe you guys should lay low for a while. <laughs>